So as someone new going to the LCWR, walking into a room of over 700 religious was very overwhelming for me. However, once we were at our tables and discussions, what became clear was the significance of our religious presence throughout our country and throughout our world. When sisters talked about their ministries and their missions and their charism and spreading that throughout the world, I was so touched to think that our reach is so far beyond what I could have imagined. As an exhibitor, I was able to attend the presidential speech and the keynote. And in both of those speeches, I think what really caught me was the uh, call to live religious life with passion, and that that can be done by all of us at any age, regardless of our circumstances. The invitation to be uh, open-hearted and wide in welcoming all kinds of people and willing to uh, stand for the things that are most important to the suffering people of our world today. I think they were the most important pieces I took away. I think the first thing that comes to mind as being significant is uh, Charlotte Wagner's address. And what uh, drew me into her address immediately was her um, description of her experience on Universal Studios' Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster. Um, Charlotte was just funny, and at the same time, I was touched by her uh, comparison to religious life and to leadership. Um, at the end of her talk, she said, she envisions that um, at the end of our lives, we'll look back and say, that was an awesome ride. The next thing um, I would say stands out to me is Pat Murray's talk, and Pat said so much. Um, one of the things she talked about was how consecrated life has changed dramatically. And even though we, the different congregations are different in our spiritual roots and our traditions and our charisms. We are the same. We are united in our zeal for the mission of Jesus. What was significant to me was that you, you walked into this beautiful space that was filled with hundreds and hundreds of other women who were um, about the same thing that you were and that they represented thousands and thousands of, of other women behind them. And so there was that, that very real feeling of not being alone in this, you know, that, that there is in fact this global sisterhood um, that, was, that was palpably tangible. Um, in that space over those days. And that we were all focused really on the same mission. And, and, and so it was that, that expressed understanding that we were in a very real way, arm in arm and hand in hand. And for me, there was also this very um, uh, confirming, uh, affirming uh, sense of our own direction statement from chapter. You know, so the focus on, on relationships, on presence, and on advocacy. So that what gave us, what gives us meaning, and that was the theme of the LCWR, is the fact that we are still a significant presence in the world. You know, they, they use the, the uh, phrase, you know, a moral authority. And that, that people look to us to be with us, to to stand for what's right. And so, you know, our own statements on, on advocacy for, for the immigrants in trafficking and, in, in, you know, gun control um, were, were all highlights of, of what was um, shared over that time with, with such a solidarity. I attended LCWR Assembly 2019 as a representative for Communicators for Women Religious. We were both a sponsor and an exhibitor at the event. And throughout the week, I had the great opportunity to meet sisters from throughout the United States who came to the booth, told me the name of their communicator and the good work that they do for the congregation. And it was more than wonderful to hear how valued communications was. 
spending time with the Sisters of St. Joseph at uh, large gatherings such as chapter, um, assembly, and other events is something that I always look forward to and treasure. Um, it's always so inspiring to me. And this was the first opportunity that I had to meet with so many sisters who were not all Sisters of St. Joseph. And I found that no matter whether the size of their congregation was a handful or 20 or a hundred or thousands, each sister expressed so much joy in her vocation and great hope for the future. I think for me, the most singular thing that I experienced was that we have now begun to give language to a paradigm shift in religious life and all of those speakers together, and even the conversations at table, and the emerging future that has been developed by the members of LCWR, are now beginning to identify, maybe not totally what our future will be, but certainly what the elements of our life will be, and how they are being articulated. And I think there's a sense of, this is where we're going. And uh, that's different. That for me is a shift. And when I realized that, I thought this is uh, perhaps one of those assemblies that will be outstanding as time goes on. And, and maybe it didn't seem as dramatic as some assemblies in the past. Uh, but I think uh, for me, uh, that would be really the, the overall and, and probably the most dramatic uh, impact that the assembly had for me. And I, I, think it's, I think it's very, very exciting. And it seems as if, as time goes on, uh, the, those in leadership will be able to keep working with that emerging vision uh, and not feel caught up in it's, it's this or it's that or it's, it's, a, it's in concrete, it's not. It's, it's still evolving. And I think that's very exciting. I think the most significant thing for me came directly from the theme and the whole idea of cultivating a global sisterhood just kind of captured my imagination. And for me it came through most strongly I think in Charlotte Wagner's talk. Charlotte was an amazing presenter and she just was able to capture both our global realities and give suggestions about our response as religious. She talked about the fear mongering, the hateful rhetoric, but she also talked about our call to model something different, especially about modeling hope and really gathering together as a sisterhood and facing these realities that we face, but doing it in a, a positive way, being who we are and facing it that way. And I think she also captured the realities of intercultural living, which so many congregations are dealing with today, and unfortunately we're not, and also intergenerational living and had some concrete suggestions for us in that. I felt her overall talk really spoke directly to our direction statement from chapter. And that was both stretching for me and affirming for me. So I found the whole experience very hopeful. And even Charlotte's question at the end, if you haven't heard it, I would suggest you listen to it. She asked us if we truly believe that our congregations are where God wants us to be today. And I think the message for her is we are women for these times and we should find joy and hope in that. There were so many significant moments, but here's the one that seems to fit for today. Sister Pat Murray, our keynote speaker, challenged us to be present at the borderlands. And she called us to be sisters of the world who are called to carry people across the divide. Pat's words seems particularly significant because we were gathered in the desert where so many of our sisters and brothers have spent days walking to freedom. Sisters, I must admit that I was also, it was also with a grateful heart that I considered the many ways the Sisters of St. Joseph of Philadelphia responded to the needs and continue to respond to the needs at our southern border. We sent sisters to volunteer, we sent donations, we continue to work steadfastly for just immigration reform and for a call for the outpouring of compassion for our sisters and brothers who come to our borders. And of course, we pray. All of us are doing something at the borderlands. 
Pat concluded her remarks with a question. Who are we called to be? This seems to be our forever question as daily we try to live into it anew. Pat suggested that we are called to be open to the simple acts of encounter and communion, both near and far. Doesn't that sound like our desire to build relationships and to strive for unity among all people? I hope that each of you will have the opportunity to view these presentations from the LCWR Assembly on your own so that you too can be as inspired and challenged to live our mission anew. Thanks for all you do to live our mission and to be an example to so many of God's love.